Hello, my name is Brian Stevenson. I'm the founder of CRM Brew. And today we're gonna to be looking at a Spring 23 feature, which is an action called Search for an Individual. You'll find this action in the Flow Builder uh, in the coming weeks. So let's uh, take a look at this. It is a, one, it's an action that does a social search on a contact lead or employee record. Um, and if you're wondering what is SOSOL, uh, SOSOL is very similar to like SOQL in that it can search records in the system, but it does um, a more efficient job of searching for a keyword across multiple fields within an object. Um, it uses uh, tokenized terms and it can uh, do some really advanced type of like fuzzy searching, which is really powerful when you're trying to find records um, and may not know the exact keyword to use. Um, behind the scenes, this action is constructing all of the syntax for you to uh, do these uh, social searches. Here's some examples of what's going on behind the scenes. And so let's go ahead and jump into uh, an example flow that I built. In this flow, I have a screen which accepts a keyword. I have a conditionally displayed uh, text when there's nothing found. I'm using the unofficial SF's data table to display the search results. And I have a conditionally displayed button. So when you select something from the data table, it will uh, lets you take an action on it. I overrode the next button with search. So when you do a keyword search, you just click the button there, which does all of the um, uh, lookups in the next step here. So this is where all of the magic happens. Uh, this is the action where you can specify whether it searches a contact lead. And I do want to point out here that even though the documentation says it searches employee records, I'm not seeing anything here that would indicate an employee record, such as a user. Um, and when I look down here in the advanced, uh, I do see something here regarding employee IDs. And maybe this is just um, because it's in beta, maybe that just hasn't been built yet. But I just wanted to call that one out as um, uh, something that may be forthcoming. So once you choose your object, you choose which fields you want to search within that object, phone, name, and email, if you want a very um, focused search, or you can just say all fields, which will uh, find everything that is supported by social. And the keyword search, which is the text field that I am capturing from the uh, screen before. Uh, in this flow, I'm counting the search results, and if it's uh, greater than zero, it will uh, make sure that the um, uh, records not found message is not displayed. And you may be wondering why I need to do this search if I'm already doing this search. This particular component is only returning the IDs that like the contact IDs or lead IDs, the record IDs, which means once we get the search results, we need to actually pull in those contact lead records using uh, the in operator. So uh, in this case, I'm doing a SQL search uh, for the contacts with IDs that are in this collection of IDs and this collection of IDs is what you're seeing right here. It's basically just a, a collection that can be passed in. And this is such a cool feature. This in operator, they added it a few months ago. It's a real game changer. It makes life so much simpler when you have a collection of IDs that you need to um, query all at once before there were some pretty hacky ways to go about selecting records, um, all of which were very inefficient. This is a far more efficient way of querying the system. So I'm taking the results, sorting it by name, and 
Uh, and then right here, you'll see that I'm redirecting the flow back to the original screen to display the results. So let's go ahead and um, oops, let's go ahead and debug. Let's go ahead and see what happens here when we run it. So here we have our search results. Let's go ahead and do a search for Carol. And as you can see here, it found Carol White. If we were to do a search for, let's say, Stamos, it was able to find based on last name, or we could do a search based on the email. And there we go. Or maybe we need to do a search for anybody in a, uh, in a company. You can find everybody there. Or maybe you need to find based on the job title. Or perhaps uh, you're uh, given a phone number and you need to find it that way. Uh, it's even smart enough to do a fuzzy search. So if you were to do a phone number uh, without the dashes or parentheses, or even maybe you have just like the, uh, without the area code, you can do a search like that and you can find all the phone numbers uh, that way. Again, that's the power of Social. It gives you a lot of flexibility in the um, search terms and uh, being able to look at the entire index of fields and all the tokens that have been created uh, to very efficiently search the system. Uh, you may be wondering um, a bit more about which fields are actually searchable. I found this thing the other day. Uh, if you were to go into setup and type in search manager, even though it says Einstein search, this I think is a very helpful tool. If you click on this here and then go to contact and let's sort by searchable, you'll see that we searched by account, email. Um, oh, I didn't show you that. We can search by address. So if we were to go in here and type in uh, Canada, you'll see that we have everybody from Canada or maybe we type in USA, it brings everybody back from the USA. So uh, mailing address is um, supported, any phone number really, even custom text fields. Um, so if you have something in the system, I actually, just for fun, tested that one out, uh, created a, um, a custom text field and put the word Christmas in it. And sure enough, it found that as well. So. Custom fields are supported, names, obviously, phones, title. And also, you notice that I did a search by account name, which um, even though on the contact it's account ID, because it's a lookup for um, a related record and it's a name, uh, somehow that shows up in the social index. So I'm, I'm actually kind of curious if um, other lookups are support as well. I would encourage you to play around with this tool. I had a lot of fun getting to learn how it works. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment and subscribe and like if you would like to be notified of more articles or videos in the future. Have a great day.